Okay, guys, today I'm going to share some code with you and a bit of a description on how we can use this standard nav menu. So the brick standard nav menu, not a third party add on. And we're going to make that look like this. So we get a slide out, we get a logo at the top, we get back to products, back to hardware. I'm going to show you how you can do that with a standard bricks nav menu. Sometimes this is all you need. Uh, this will also work with the mega menus that you assign through templates through the bricks uh, menu builder. Um, so you really sometimes don't need the fancy nested uh, menu, uh, nav menu. If you're going to run query loops and things like that, you do, but sometimes you don't need that. So this is a prefer preference for me if I'm just going to use standard static menus. All right, so let's have a look what we've got here. So I'm going to disable our and this is, by the way, if you see me doing these things here, this is an advanced theme feature. Otherwise, you're going to go into your styles and hide and show these things. So I'm going to display a standard nav menu. And they're both exactly the same element pulling from the same menu. If we have a look there, there's our menu there. If we go to mobile view, there's our menu there. And you've all have seen the standard menu that you get from the nav menu. It's a little bit dicky to style. There are some settings at different levels. It's not exactly the easiest thing to style up and make look good. Uh, so what I'd suggest you do is you follow through this. I'll share this as a gist so you can copy and paste the template and then play with this yourself. I'm going to show you how that actually works. We've got to turn that standard one off, turn on our one. There's uh, three parts to this, by the way. So four parts, really. So we've got the standard nav menu. So that's just a go into bricks, uh, go into nav, add your nav menu. Um, to the editor, and then on that nav menu, we're going to add two classes, which is AB Bricks Nav and AB Bricks Nav Style. What it actually says, yep, AB Bricks Nav Style. Those classes are required. And then we have some JavaScript here, which again, I'll share. I'm not going to go through too much detail with this. And what this does is it adds the logo using uh, uh, attributes, and then it, log then it uh, also gives you the back button that we saw as well. So that will be shared with you as well. Okay, so let's get started. So looking at the nav menu, we had our bricks AB nav. And if I, again, this is advanced schema. Uh, if I have a look at that, all that is, is functional. So that's basically this stuff here, you really should not have to touch if you want to change, you know, the gaps and sizes of your back button and things like that. This is all the functional stuff that makes the menu slide in and slide out and gives you a your gap for your logo, all that sort of stuff. And we can see here, we've got six levels. So we can get up to six levels deep, which I think is plenty. I don't think you should have menus deeper than that anyway. Uh, so it gives us six levels of menu functionality. We then have this Bricks Nav style. And that one there gives us our style. So it's our durations, our color, uh, our item background, what is it on hover? What is our ice and background I'll hover there? What is our active color, uh, you know, our active background? And what is our nav logo background? Those are pretty simple. That's applied down here through some pretty simple CSS to give us the effect that we've got there. So it's not overly complicated. I know there's a lot of mega menu stuff out there and, and, and mobile menu stuff that's extremely complicated. This is very, very simple in, in contrast. Okay, so... That's all we need. So I'm going to share this whole thing with you. The only thing that you need is the put a nav menu on there, add these two classes to it, and then add this um, code and execute that. The rest of there here is just window dressing for this demo. Um, but yeah, that's it. So I'm going to share this out with you. I think it's a really cool way to use those menus. If you like it, hit the subscribe, hit the like. Thanks for listening, guys. Hey guys, sorry, this is a bit of a drop in. So I forgot when I was recording the last video to show you one part, which is where it's getting the mobile logo from. So if we have a look at the nav menu and go into the attributes, we've got two attributes, which is data, logo, SRC, and we just link to a resource there or media file. And then we've got our data logo alt, which is whatever alt uh, tag you want to put on that logo. And that will automatically the JavaScript here will automatically put that on your mobile logo, on your mobile menu. Okay.